to our From the Top program where we talk to leaders in all the sectors of the industry around the world. And today we're in Abu Dhabi in the Middle East where we're going to be talking to Isa Al Shamsi who's from Yase. Now space as we know really is an out of this world industry. And we're going to be finding out how exactly this company from the United Arab Emirates is now reaching out across the world. Lisa, welcome to our program. Thank you very much, Alan. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Tell me about Yasa. It, it, it came from nowhere a few years ago. And how did it happen? How did it start? So if we, if we go back in time, uh, Alan, and we look at the inceptions which happened in 2007, uh, where uh, the creation of Yasa came out of uh, a need and a specific requirements. And this is where the whole thing start uh, kind of piling up and the creation of Yasat, then with, with the futuristic kind of uh, plans that uh, we had an ambition and the support from the leadership and the government we managed to grow uh, naturally, I mean, within, within this industry uh, till we reached at a certain time. And I'm sure uh, you're aware, if you recall, in 2018, where we acquired uh, Thuraya, which uh, they've been in the industry for uh, much longer as well and they provide a kind of different sets of applications but over satellites and we kind of expanded our portfolio to kind of provide the optimum kind of solutions with a wide range of uh, applications and solutions to our anchor customers and main kind of uh, consumers. So le let me bundle both uh, the Yasat and Thuraya. Uh, if we bundle both, uh, we have five satellites in the sky as of today and uh, we cover uh, two-thirds of, uh, of uh, the whole earth. We provide uh, services uh, in various kind of uh, different geographical locations and our kind of portfolio of services it varies from uh, uh, B2B and B2C. Let's talk about the B2B bit and, the, and indeed the government in your specialist yes. area. What are the sorts of services and applications that YASA is working with in terms of defence or government work? Sure. So, so l let me try to lay it down in, uh, in a simple kind of terms. I mean, comms is uh, the, the fundamental aspect. We provide uh, communication over satellites and this is the main thing. But on top of that, uh, on top of this, uh, there are various additional kind of application could be enabled through satellites and this is what we are doing, uh, extending a specific kind of range for line of sight to beyond line of sight using uh, the benefiting from the coverage of the satellite itself. Uh, we provide various command and control kind of applications and services through the satellite itself, various other kind of services that we provide. So it's not limited to communication, it's a widened range of applications that we cover. So even the ISR kind of intelligence and uh, search and rescue kind of mission could be served through the satellites. So uh, in Brazil, we extended the, the internet over satellites through one of our commercial business units, and we do provide the same kind of uh, broadband services across other regions as well. So it's basically with an area that lacks infrastructure, and you will be able to provide them with internet services over satellites. Now, something um, I've seen happening a lot in the Middle East has been this idea of developing knowledge, becoming knowledge-based economies. How are you finding that here in the UAE? Is, is there a focus now on the emiratization and localization? Yeah. So I'm glad, Alan, you, you asked this question because we just signed an agreement with the Tawazin Economic Council uh, uh, with the Assad to form a new entity to focus on uh, R&D and uh, not only developing uh, a specific kind of uh, uh, SATCOM solutions, it's uh, even to produce those SATCOM solutions and the focus is to uh, kind of uh, own those IPRs and advance on those IPRs to uh, enrich the uh, local knowledge and support the industrialization mission that we have from our wise kind of uh, leadership and the directions that we have to adapt to all of this. I think, um, if I may say, with the UAE, I get a real buzz about space um, coming into Abu Dhabi Airport. I've got a stamp on my passport. It's the home of the Mars Home Project and things. So do you see the young people amongst the Emiratis sharing this passion and 
enthusiasm for science and for space in particular? Definitely, if, if you look at uh, the, the focus uh, on space within UAE, especially recently, it's been uh, kind of growing rapidly. I mean, we, uh, we've been getting involved in various kind of exploration missions uh, and uh, commercial missions and at a very wide range. As I mentioned, YASA today owns five satellites, uh, which is uh, which the fleet consists of, and we have the sixth one, which is under development and uh, hopefully will be launched, inshallah, in 2024. This is with respect to the communication satellites. We have some other entities like MBRC focused on uh, uh, Earth observation satellites and we have the Mars probe and we have uh, the astronaut program. So things are getting very excited and uh, yes, the new generation is uh, uh, kind of getting extremely excited about uh, this, uh, this wave of uh, scientific uh, kind of uh, approach. So where do you see Yarsen going? So if we're talking in five years' time, where do you think this is going to be? See, if, uh, if, if, I go, if I step back and I say, uh, what is our ambition? Basically, uh, we've been playing a vital role with respect to the space industry within the UAE, and we will definitely continue playing that vital role to further expand this within the UAE itself. I've got to ask you a question about leaders of industries around the world. What is it that wakes you up in the middle of the morning? What is it that makes you have that panic? To be frank, nothing wakes me up in the night. It's just, uh, I think uh, uh, we have an extremely progressing country, fast and rapid progressing country, and uh, the only thing that uh, I'm trying to focus on, and I think uh, many others are trying to focus on, is to, to adapt to this uh, and try to, to keep up to the expectation and be able to achieve and advance in those industries. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Alan. I really appreciate it.